So for today, we're going to be looking at all my guardians. I am bringing the Xerxes Exotic Dare Challenge back. And this this week is really good because we had chess pieces that we've never had or Xer has never had, which makes me really excited because I really do get excited when I see an exotic that he hasn't used yet or he hasn't sold yet, because then that means I can actually have fun and do something new instead of constantly getting the same exotic over and over. So if you guys like the video, if you guys like the challenge, let me know, uh, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram and show me your guys' challenge, uh, how you guys are handling it. Cause I, I like it. it. This, I think this is cool. I think the community would like this. So it would be cool if the community, uh, did this challenge as well. But if this is your first video, essentially what Xur's Exotic Dare is, it's a challenge I gave myself where whatever exotics Xur is selling, I make an armor set around it. And it's really cool. Later in the future, we might do, we might incorporate the, the legendary armor that he sells as well. But for now, we're just doing the exotics just to see how it goes. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe really does help the channel grow. And I, I appreciate you guys for doing so. But let's just get right into the video this is my hunter uh for the hunters we got the gwiz and vest which is definitely a cool exotic and i have the ornament for it as well eerie breeze which is definitely one of my favorite ornaments for it if actually it's the only ornament but it's one of the best ornaments for it because if you guys don't know the original one has this uh red blue and yellow medallion doesn't change that doesn't change color so that's pretty annoying and this one's just black and white so i appreciate that so let's just get right into it first one's gonna be iron truage cask this one was from uh, vanilla destiny 2 this is the one i'm using in particular is from this uh vanilla destiny 2 and the other one is from season no not season of the chosen really season of the chosen well, to be fair, it's season from the chosen and uh, another one. I, what season was it? It was season of the menagerie as well. I think we've had this armor set a lot. So if you don't have it, that's unfortunate. I don't know when they're going to sell it again, but I'm very tired of seeing this armor set for from Iron Banner. Uh, for the arms, it's the Neoteric Kiot Grasps. This is from season of the Drifter Eververse and it's definitely one of the coolest sets for the for the hunters specifically i crutch i crutch the cloak a lot it's one of my favorite ones uh chess piece we already know i already talked about this one boots are from season of the forge iron banner uh, which is why it has that japanese look um for a few seasons in a row we had a lot of japanese themed armor if you guys don't know uh where is it right here this one's one of them this one's the other one. We had a lot of Japanese themed armor. And last but not least, we have the Vernal Growth Cloak, which isn't even available like at all. This was this is from an old event. I don't even remember what it's called because it was that old. And this this is definitely an old armor set because I think this was from maybe the first year of the seasons and yeah it's definitely one of my favorite cloaks the only unfortunate part is if you are wanting to get this look and you do have this by any chance uh just a reminder that the gold actually doesn't change color so just be aware of that same thing with the helmet the helmet does not change color or what am i here uh the helmet doesn't change color the gold at least doesn't change color right here so just remember that and that's pretty much it this is my hunter uh I was going for a Japanese uh, kind of like kind of like a royal like oh I uh, I don't know it's hard to explain essentially I was just trying to go for something Japanese themed but also like not Japanese but like just Asian themed in general because I think the winds invest is Korean themed and I don't want to like just be like I don't want to call it like oh this is Japanese themed even though this is a Korean set um, but that's like semantics at that point like honestly this is really really cool if i did want to change it i would probably change it to another gold just because again like this would be super cool the other problem with these boots is the fact that the red here never changes color which actually prompted me to actually use the one of the shaders from the dawning 
this one right here because I know the red's a little bit more brighter than this even though this is like more orange but I actually did like this combination a bit more because when you when you look at it at first glance it looks like it's almost the same so that's my hunter let me know what you guys think about my hunter I, I'm in love with my hunter I think I think he came out really cool uh, next one is the Titans and for the titans we have armamentarium it's really cool the only unfortunate part is that i've already used armamentarium on a on a different build if you guys remember i made a an, a, a build video where i was using uh, armamentarium and for the titans we have armamentarium uh which is super cool the only unfortunate part is the fact that i've already used armamentarium in another video which was the scavenger video if you guys don't know i'll have it in the description below and in the comments but it's essentially a build that i made that looks like i scavenge shit and specifically for the titans i made it look like a fallen theme so it was really cool but this is what I came up with with the default of the look for armamentarium, which I think came out really good. Uh, for the helmet, we're using Ringwalker Helm, which is from the 30th anniversary. Definitely one of my favorite helmets for the Titans. It just looks really, really cool. And I think it melds really well with everything else. I think the only weak part are the arms, which is, for, is the Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets from Season of the Menagerie. This is the one that I think is the weakest only because I feel like I should have gotten an armor set that has a very slender look but is also armored, kind of like the boots. Uh, these are the Phobos Warden uh, boots. Definitely hit me like out of left field because I wasn't expecting to use these. I was going for other pieces of armor and then I ended up just seeing, not, e not even seeing these specific boots, I ended up seeing um, the... The Gambit one, this one, Calamity Rig. I saw this and I was like, ooh, that could work. And then I started going through each one of them and decided to go with the, the Vanguard one because the Vanguard doesn't have a lot of purple and the whole set in general doesn't have a lot of purple. So I really like that. Last but not least, we have the Iron Will uh, mark. And this one is still kind of like up there for me. Like, I don't know if I want to use this one or not because I ended up uh picking this one on a whim although this one actually might no uh i'm the i was using this one beforehand i actually did like it a lot and you know what? i'm probably gonna switch it out yeah i'm gonna switch it up well no this is fair because both of them are for th from the 30th anniversary but they're different sets um because the whole thing for me is i kind of want to not have a mark i would love to just have the waste that's it that's kind of like where my head was going unfortunately i don't think we have a, a mark like that at all because yeah like i we uh, titans I'm, I'm so sad that you guys don't have like the equivalent of hunters that they don't have a cloak uh, i wish like this one was just the belt although that doesn't look terrible <clears throat> But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm trying to, I was trying to go for like something that doesn't have, that was just a belt. Although this is not bad, but you know, I, you know what I wanted. So that's pretty much it for the Titan Titans. Let me know what you guys think. I think she came out really cool. The, the only unfortunate part is I think it, this look would look better on a male Titan, but yeah, next up is Warlocks and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks with vesper of radius i love this one this is a, such a cool exotic even without the ornament it's super cool uh so the ornament i'm using is uh transcendent geometry this is definitely one of my favorite ornaments uh in general just because it looks super cool i love the highlights of the the lights i think the the glow here is super cool there's just so much happening with this exotic that it's just so visually uh, appealing to me. For the helmet, we are going to be using Pathfinder's Visor. This is definitely one of my favorite helmets from Season of the Lost. Just because of the combination of there's a glow here plus the ears here. Definitely makes me feel like I'm racing. Like a racing helmet kind of thing. Uh, for the arms, we are using the Celestine Gloves. 
Although this you can switch it out for pretty much anything like this I think was the one I was originally using which I still think looks way better um, I don't really care that there's not a lot of or no glow at all to this because you know I have so much glow everywhere else that it doesn't really matter um, I already explained about the chest piece the boots is also one of those it doesn't matter what you wear because well it does matter but not for the same reasons as you guys think so for me the reason it, uh, it doesn't matter is because the glue you can't see the glow at all so that kind of whatever so you could use like something like this which is the original idea for me but the, the reason I am using this one is because the boots are big and that's really it that's really the only problem like the only thing I'm doing using that for because the boots of the Cormant or blade are also a good choice because they're big and bulky but the reason I chose this one is just because of how high-tech it looks compared to like everything else so it looks like it matches and last but not least we have the street street scholar bond which you might have seen uh because it's fucking so small and you can't barely see it so that's pretty much it for the warlocks i think this one came out if you get if you would have to ask me i think my favorite would probably be my warlock just because of how cool she looks and then my hunter and then it would be my my titan uh titans warlocks hunters let me know what you guys think about the about the looks i made if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help the channel grow and i will be doing more videos i have a list of stuff that i have to do uh stuff to talk about uh i still haven't done final fantasy 14 or any other game in the channel yet only because i'm still trying to catch up on final fantasy 14 once i hit endwalker then that's when i kind of can make a video reflecting on how the road to and walker was and so on and so forth and we'll have fashion videos we'll have just all, we'll have a lot of videos for final fantasy 14 don't you worry but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you guys later